one of the things Salt Lake County has wanted to do, as well as having a few west side thoroughfares like Interstate 215 and Bangor Expressway and Mountain View Corridor, is they also wanted to make sure they had an east side thoroughfare too that goes along the east side of town. Wasatch Boulevard is one part of it, but one thing people have often wanted to make was a Highland Boulevard as well, and that would probably make it easier to go across town. I mean, with Van Winkle Expressway, which is the same road as um, 700 East in, in downtown and in Salt Lake and South Salt Lake, you know, it goes... Um, it very, when you go into the Murray neighborhood, you eventually it goes into being a Van Winkle Expressway, and then you pass basically through Holiday, and then you go into Cottonwood, and then and then it says Highland Drive, but because of its speed, it's actually Highland Boulevard. And in 1992, they practically widened part of the road. They redone it. They they. If you've seen that traffic signal at 7200 South and Highland Boulevard, the sign is really supposed to say Highland Boulevard, not Highland Drive. Highland Drive only goes between um, the Highland neighborhood and, and Mill Creek and then Holiday, and then then after Holiday, yeah. see that's a medium speed because after holiday it becomes a fast road and then that's when it has to become a boulevard. I mean after it was widened in 1992 it practically became a boulevard all the way down to 9400 South near where the one of the fire stations is located at. Yeah, and it kind of slowed down after that. But one of the reasons why is because Draper was still under its development. And so one thing they did was they practically left a space while they were growing the houses. And and now that that's done, they, they have a way to get Highland Boulevard through. But by the time they got done, our construction workers went into a decline when the economy recession happened. And it happened because we don't have enough people able to succeed in school to to grow up to uh, be able to obtain community helpers jobs like construction and with too few construction workers there's no way to make the grant to get Highland Boulevard all the way through. With this at stake it does kind of affect our traffic and our um, and our navigation system and so and so what we need is a way to get um, Highland Boulevard all the way through and so your best bet would be to make sure we have is neurophysiology and that helps back up for um for, for genetic abilities needed to learn that aren't there and that makes it easier so that we can um, people can succeed in school without having to rely on special education all the time and then it makes it easier to get through yeah yeah, and when you succeed, then you graduate well, you get your community helper's job, and then you don't have to go hungry all the time. Then you don't have to suffer through lots of unemployment. Makes it a lot easier. But while we're in the process, however, we're going to work on um, making sure that we we get a few things through as it is. We're actually accepting donations of um, silver yogurt container lids, golden tabs, and shot needle tab or caps of both white and orange. It would make it a lot easier because if we donate enough we may actually be able to finish the project. This is a part of Highland Boulevard. Currently it stops at 9800 South and the land is ready to go. And where where the white you see right here is where it's gonna go right now and where it's supposed to be. It would go right through Dimple Dell Park, but only it would be a bridge going over. And then it would make its connection with um, 106 South, and it would make it easier to kind of go to get there from here without having to go on all these windy roads everywhere you go.
Yeah. And this is the part between 106 South and then Wasatch Boulevard. I mean, the way it would go is it would kind of make its way through Cottonwood and then through Draper. And it would go all the way through the Draper neighborhood in this area. The Hidden Valley Country Club golf course had, has been in Draper probably even before the city was built. They can't really give up a lot of their golf area just for that. And so we've decided to make a tunnel underneath the, the golf course, and it would make it easier. The clearance would be 20 feet high, and that would make it easier, because then you can make it through the area and never have to worry about clearance trouble. Just go right under, like you see here. The, the underpass symbols are really not that clearly marked, but that just shows that it is an underpass right here. And then it makes its connection with 124 south right here. That makes it easier. The one thing we could end up getting with, um, with Highland Boulevard is, um, is possibly yet another bus system that could, that could go through. Yeah, and it would connect um, U of U to um, BYU, and it would make it a lot easier to get to and from the area. And would, not to mention, it could also make it easier to get across town on the east side and never have to have to go all the way to I-15 on I-215. You could just get off at Highland Boulevard, go south, and there you are on the south side. Mountain View Quarter, however, about half of it's done between 54th and Bluffdale. That's the part that's done, that you can drive on. Now they're working on making some fast lanes to make it a normal thoroughfare. It's just going to take a while longer because we don't have a lot of construction workers. This part, as you see in white, is where it's going to go. It, It's going to somewhat go parallel to um, 5600 West, but this one other part, 6400 West, you know, is actually going to what it's going to become, and then it's probably going to follow along the commuter train rail route all the way into 41st and go along 72nd hundred west. And then, basically, it would go through West Valley in City and Magna over by the, over by 41, 41st and 35th. And, um, and also up between um, Parkway Boulevard. Yeah. And then basically we can have enough fast roads in the area. And then we go past Parkway Boulevard. And it can't really interchange with, um, with the, the 21st South Expressway because um, they have an interchange there at 56 already. So the 56 alternative will just bypass it without connecting at all. The 72nd route will actually have an interchange as well. And as it keeps going, it'll pass over 1300 West, right where the city landfill used to be. 72nd will eventually get to go all the way through, and it will cross over the Union Pacific Railroad Yard, and then it'll just keep going on up to I-80. But this one is is not exactly related to a Mountain View corridor, but along 72nd West, you know, 1300 South, this way is where it'll eventually merge with Interstate 80 and carry west, and it'll go around the salt ponds. This is where Mountain View corridor will pass over Interstate 80. 72nd Hundred West is going to be a part of it, and what you see in, in this picture here is the interchange it will eventually become so that you can pass on Mountain View Quarter in an easier way. And up to about here, this is probably all that you'll see there because, you know, buildings can't be built in this area. And they can't because, you know, the ground's too soft to be able to hold them in structure and they'll just collapse. The road, however, will make its way through, and it'll just keep going north 
up through where 72nd eventually meets up with it and it meets up to 88th and then it's going to make its connection to Antelope Island on the south end and we'll have a south entrance there too and it'll make it a lot easier to get there from here just like normal the camping ground will be a wonderful spot in for all of us and I think that'll be great so once again we get some silver yogurt container lids golden tabs and shot needle caps of both black or actually both white and orange and that should be able to keep us tied over until our construction workers have mounted up again to be able to get the work done and to be able to succeed and until neurophysiology makes its way into helping those things happen we've always believed things could happen this way and it, and it will work even though you might not think it does